I'm Jordan Belfort, and this is Sales School. All right, short message from my number one sponsor, NetSuite. Here's the deal. If you're a business owner, you don't need them, NetSuite, to tell you it's tough to run a business because it is, right? We all know that. Don't let QuickBooks and spreadsheets slow you down anymore. Now is the time to upgrade to NetSuite by Oracle. They're the world's number one cloud-based business system. They give you the visibility and control of your financials, HR, inventory, e-commerce, and more. You want to join over 24,000 companies using NetSuite right now. So schedule a free product tour now at netsuite.com slash school. That's netsuite.com slash school. What do you do after the customer says yes, right? Now there's two sides to this equation here, right? On one side of the equation, you have basically all the things that you can do to essentially ensure that your customer has a great initial experience with his onboarding and adoption, meaning, you know, how does he first take to the product? Is he confused? Does he feel good? Does he feel like he was, you know, led, you know, to use the product the right way? Or was he essentially, you know, led to just do things on his own? Hey, you know, figure this shit out or not, right? You know, you get it, right? So the idea is you want to have this incredible customer adoption period where they're really, you know, led down a path to be able to use this product and feel great about it. You don't leave it up to chance. Then you have, you know, from this, you know, adoption phase to you know, onboarding phase to adoption phase, right? And basically, once you pass that phase, then someone is using your product in earnest for their company throughout the entire sales force, whatever you're selling, or the entire, you know, uh, companies using you know, all the features and benefits at the highest level, right? I just want to frame this one thought for the day, and that is this, right? There is no arbitrary rule. This is the big mistake people make is they think that there has to be some period of time from when you sell someone something to when you have to either A, get upsells and cross-sells, meaning you know sell them even more of the first product you sold them, or sell them a different product. It's gotta be like a week or a month or a year. They gotta see results until you can approach them with another transaction. Completely false. And B, which baffles me more than anything, because if you go online on the internet, and you read like, you know, strategies for getting referrals, they'll say the best time to get a referral is to wait until your customer gets to experience the benefits of your product. That is false. It is 100% false, untrue, the worst advice you can get. Whoever is teaching that is simply not in the real world of sales. You know why I know this? Because I've sold everything. Really, I've sold every product you can imagine and I get referrals the day I close. Seriously, I don't have to wait some arbitrary time. I ask for referrals when I close people, right then and there on the spot, and I don't stop asking there. I mean, I, I, mean, I will certainly ask them, and then I'll continue to ask on a periodic basis. So, this, and the same thing, by the way, now with, with upsells and cross-sells, a bit different. You have to wait for a little bit of time to go by because it would just be stupid to ask someone to buy something else before they had a chance to even use it. But it's not like someone to experience all the benefits over months and months. You can go at them straight away. So just wait. I want you to understand that one of the quickest ways to grow your business is to accelerate the time it takes to start getting referrals from people and getting upsells and cross-sells and downsells. And the way you do that is by asking referrals the day you close, and then on a periodic basis after that, and we'll get through that for the rest of this week, and this is obviously in all the modules that you learn, right? And then on top of that, okay, is in terms of your overall business strategy, with just besides referrals and everything else, is there's no law or rule that says you have to wait until something happens before it's appropriate to start asking people to buy more from you or refer people in. So that's what this week is gonna be about. So I want you to just realize this. Remember, every customer you close, every sale you get, that should turn to two or three more sales. Now, I'm talking two or three more sales, meaning from that person, and then two or three more new customers from referrals. The old saying is that what is not measured What's not tracked is not improved. So one of the things that we're gonna talk about this week is we're gonna talk about setting goals and actually laying out a detailed plan of how you get referrals, 
and also how you go out and do upsells and cross-sells. In other words, I want these things tracked, measured, monitored, and I want goals being set. We'll go through the rest of the week, guys. I want to cut it short right now because I'm just getting back in town here. I just want to say hello to you guys. Let's have an awesome week, all right? And then tomorrow, when I'm back in my, from my desk and I really get into it, right, we're going to rock and roll this week, discuss customers for life and everything else. Listen, guys, you know, I love my dad. I miss him dearly, but life goes on. And the greatest gift I can give my dad looking down right now is to be the man he taught me to be, which is a man who doesn't take no for an answer, okay, who sets my mark in the world and enforces it, okay, who finds a way and makes a way. That's the life I want for you, right? I love you all, and tomorrow we'll get back to it full on. Take care.